Hello, I'm uh, Chef Christopher. I teach here at Triton College in the hospitality department, um, specifically culinary arts. And we're here today with Louis, my student, who is going to help show us how to cook a turkey for Thanksgiving. Yourself to the camera? Uh, my name is Louis Leva. I am also a student here at Train. I am studying for culinary arts. Have you ever cooked a turkey before? Never. Never? Never. Okay, well, today's your day, right? First time for you to cook a turkey. You can open up this outer packaging there, just kind of, again, kind of pull it, kind of get your fingers in there, just kind of rip it open. We don't want to use a scissors or a knife here because we could wind up puncturing or tearing the skin on the, on the turkey. There you go. It, the reason we do it on a tray is it might make a little bit of mess. So now that you have it open, okay, we can see that this side has the wings on it, right? Okay. So this is actually the back of the turkey. And we want to put his back down when we put him in. So right now he's upside down. So let's turn him over. There you go. So this is where all the good meat is on the turkey, in the breast here and in the thigh. So all that stuff's on the top because that's what we want to cook. Okay? So let's get the pan prepared. Let's grab some stalks of celery. Um, I'm just going to grab some, give them a little rinse in the sink, wash off any dirt. Um, you could do the same with the carrots in that sink over there, okay? So we have some celery, right? Put those in the bottom. Add your carrots. Right, there's no need to chop these up. These are just going to flavor our um, gravy a little bit. We're going to use them kind of like a little bed for the turkey to sit on. So put your onions around. Again, that's going to flavor all of the like drippings. Stick it That's oh, all right. We're not going to... Well, we'll probably strain it out <laughs> when we make our gravy. It's just going to add some flavor. In this side of the turkey, this is kind of the neck side, right? Yeah. There's a little bit of a bag that has the giblets and the heart and the liver, right? All of those things sometimes people will use to um, uh, make their dressing or their gravy, um, right? They're, they're, they're food and that's why they, they share them with you, right? That might be your family tradition. If it's not your family tradition, just take them out and you don't have to use them. It's Thanksgiving day. We're trying to get a turkey in the oven to feed our family. So the most important thing is to get it dry. So we have some paper towel here for you to pat it dry. Get it nice and dry. Drying the turkey is very important because we want the skin to crisp up and become golden brown and like crispy and, and really enjoyable. Some people, me included, really enjoy turkey skin. That's one of my favorite things about the turkey is being able to have a little piece of skin. I think there's something quite nice about it. So now we can move it on top of the carrots and the celery that you have in your pan here. Looking good. Okay. The next thing that sort of ensures that we have a good crispy skin is to spray it down with some oil. You might want to brush it with butter if you're a butter person or something like that. Um, here in the kitchen we have the spray oil, so we may as well use it, spray it down. Just a little more convenient for us um, in a commercial kitchen. More convenient for you too at home, right? Why make extra dishes? You've been cooking in the kitchen long enough to know that no one wants to eat something that has not been seasoned, right? Yeah. So go ahead, hit it with the salt. I'm gonna get it with the pepper. So you put the salt on it, I'm gonna put the pepper on it. No one wants to eat meat that you just put in the oven without any love on it. So notice his technique here, right? So up in the air allows even distribution of the salt. And don't be afraid of the salt. This is 25 pounds of turkey. Okay, you're not going to very likely over season this turkey, so don't be afraid. 
The oil that we spray down with the can is gonna help the salt stick. You're gonna to wanna to have a meat thermometer and you're gonna to wanna to test the temperature, right? And you wanna make sure this is poultry, right? Safe cooking temperature for poultry is 160, 165 degrees in the breast. The leg thigh portion, right? You're gonna test that either coming in through here or from this side in order to enjoy that and not have any red or pink in there, you're gonna to wanna to go a little higher than that, probably 170, mm -hmm. 175, okay. I set my oven hot. I would run it 375 if I were doing this at home. And once it starts smelling like turkey, then it's time to come with your thermometer and start checking for doneness. Um, again, if this weren't frozen, I'd be checking it like two and a half, three hours um, on a giant turkey like this, but on a smaller one, I'd probably check it hour and a half, hour 45, see where I'm at temperature-wise. We pulled this out a good 30 minutes ago. Really important that you don't cut the turkey immediately when it comes out of the oven. Otherwise, it's gonna lose a lot of its moisture. It's just not gonna be nice. And it's not gonna carve nicely. So you wanna kind of give yourself a little bit of a chance to let it rest. So we had this about 30 minutes ago, pulled it out. I don't know about you, do you like the white meat on the turkey or the dark meat on the turkey? The white. You like the white meat? Yeah. Most people do, right? Um, and so to get to it, we have to kind of get these other pieces out of the way. So we have like the, the wings and the leg thigh kind of in the way. So we're just gonna come in and try and get those moved out of the way, okay? So that they're not obstructing our access to, okay? The white meat okay so same thing with the wing here you can just kind of come in and get it kind of out of your way so now we have exposed the breast portion right there's the breast bone comes down the middle and you can just sort of feel it with your knife a little bit right okay and you're going to want to follow it along follow it along okay. and what we're trying to do is we're trying to remove all of that white meat that you and everyone in my family really, really likes, trying to remove it from the turkey, okay? So just cutting, following with my knife, just letting my knife follow along on the bone, okay? Okay. And then I have a huge, beautiful chunk of beautiful turkey meat, okay? That I can now put on my cutting board, okay? And now very easily slice into individual portions, right? This is the absolute easiest way to carve a turkey. Don't let anyone tell you anything different, okay? Oh, thank you for getting a serving platter there for me, Louis. All right, so now we can, now that we've sliced it all up, we can move it right to the serving platter, take it out to the dining room, okay? If you are a dark meat eater like I am, right? We can carve that off, okay, the bone here. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Goodness, I love it, right? Just carve it off in hunks, okay? And then that can go on your platter too because there are people who like this, me. So Lewis, what did you think about making turkey? I thought it was difficult at first, but now since looking at it, it looks pretty easy. I think you did a great job. I look forward to sharing this um, with the rest of our class and enjoying some turkey. So thanks for helping me out today. Thank you.